So, uh, good news. After a, a bit of mucking about at the start, I've got this going. Uh, didn't work out the box. Um, I will um, post some info about exactly the kind of um, the format you need to do for this. Uh, but just quickly looking at it from the outs from the outside. Um, of course, you know this is the SCSI board here. So this is just connected to uh, the 50 pin um, input on the back of the version six drive. Don't need the power. Uh, it draws very, very little power. So it's, it's enough, it's bus powered basically. Um, and I've got my card in here like that. And uh, it's it works basically, it's all good. So I, I also bought the um, operating system 4.04 or 4.4, uh, the last one they made anyway which you can get on eBay or anywhere really. Uh, that's, just get that. Just don't even like, you know, muck about with the one you got, just put the last one in it and uh, to be safe. So this is what I get when I turn it on. So uh, operating system 4.4, yeah. Um, serendipitously, this has just crapped out the, the uh, floppy disk drive doesn't work anymore, which is fine because I'm going to pull it out. So anyway, um, as you can see, um, if I hit disk here, then the hard drive is showing up. And uh, as it happens, I've got multiple partitions here. Set and working. Uh, here's one, for example, yeah. I just put um, just one program, one stereo sample. And this is what I saved before. So it's a type of loading type volume. So I can just um, clear the memory like that. It loads them up. It's not super fast, but it's fast enough. And uh, you can see the sample is here. Um, here it is. Um, yeah, that's the name of the sample. Right. Um, yeah, it's not very big because uh, I just left the record level thing all the way up just so I could see the noise coming into it. But I know that it samples properly. So it's recording and saving samples. So this is all good. This is working. Um, the maximum, the way I format is the maximum that you can, um, the maximum drive that the software can read, the OS can read, is 512 megabytes. So um, I set it up with the utility. Um, using my Macintosh, so this the drive itself is is not the card. It's got to do the card. The drive itself is configured um, to read with one SCSI ID, with one drive, um, with one five hundred twelve megabyte drive. Now there might be a, a smarter way to do that. Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, I'll have another. I might have another go. At it. I don't know. If I come up with something better, I'll put it in the notes. But this works basically. So I did it like that. And then once that's done, you have to format it here, of course, because this machine does not read uh, FAT32 or any other, you know, DOS or Windows type format or universal format. They had their own proprietary format. You know, it was 1988, let them off. Um, so anyway, if you go to the disk tab, you can see when you hit format, um, the default partition size is 60 megabytes. So I left that as it was. What that meant, is that um, what I ended up with um, is one volume, A, and multiple partitions, um, like this. Yeah, now they all work, it's all good. I've tested this quite a bit now. And yeah, it saves, it loads, power after power down, obviously. Um, it's all good, it's just working just like a SCSI hard drive um, without all the racket and with a lot more capacity and a fraction of the price. So this is a good drive, this does work. It's not actually listed uh, on the wiki page. Um, this is again, the, the S1000 HD, but the difference is just that basically, that it's got the SCSI card inside. The, the S1000 SCSI card adapter, um, not adapter, the, 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 uh, the internal SCSI card that you can buy was with an optional extra doesn't come, um, was only designed for the external um, Centronics connector. So it doesn't, it has this connection here, but it doesn't have the, um, 
the um, what do you call it the pins um, the adapter actually soldered on so it's a bit of a fiddle so you have to be able to solder it but you can get one of those cheap anywhere and just solder it onto the board so you have to do that and then you can connect a ribbon cable and then you can connect your drive um, it's well, you only have to do it once, put it that way, you know, so you do have to know which end of the solder and iron to hold. But apart from that, you know, it's not a big deal. I didn't have to do it because this was the HD. But uh, that's what you have to do to hook up um, a regular S1000s, you know, so it's doable. All you need is one and uh, one of those and you need a card. But then again, you'd need the card if you were going to have a hard drive anyway. So, um, yeah, it works. That's why I wanted to tell everyone. So, I'm going to pull this thing out, especially since it's crapped out, it doesn't matter. I'm going to chuck this in, um, and uh, my super duper screen, the backlight has turned up as well, so I'm going to have a go at putting that in, and then we're starting to get there.